Are you looking to learn how to make a needle felted witch's hat? If so, then you're on the right video because today I'm going to share with you everything you need to know to make one of these and more. Hi everyone and welcome to today's video, a needle felted witch's hat. My name is Iceland and on this channel, Snowflake Forest Felting, I share needle felting videos, have needle felting tutorials like this one, and share product reviews from time to time. So if you're new and this interests you, please consider subscribing. And if you want to know more about anything you see here on this channel, be sure and check the links down in the description below this video or leave a comment. I'd love to connect with you there. And if you think these videos may help someone, please share them where you can. Now, let's get into everything you're going to need to make your witch's hat. To start, you're going to need your needle felting needles, the ones of your choice. I'm going to be using my speed needles to do the core wool, which will be the inside of the witch's hat, and then my heavyweight needle with the black wool to wrap around the outside of it. And then also, if you're going to be adding any mushroom additions as well to your hat, I have these teal colors and gold color in sight purple sparkly color there that I plan to be using. Your surface protectors, I like to use one for when I'm working with each color of wool so they don't blend into each other. And then a tape measure if you're wanting to make sure your needle felted item is a certain size, that is a great way to do so. You are also going to want a pair of scissors to trim your project when you're done to get all the excess fibers. I love to use these curved tipped ones to do that and get nice and close next to the project. And then we're also going to be doing some wet felting in this video, so a bowl for the really warm hot water. And then you'll need some towels for cleanup and a little bit of soap as well to help with the felting process. And remember, I'm going to have all this linked down in the description below for you and you can check out more there. To begin, take out your needle felting needle. If you have a surface protector that's foam like this, you can put it just right into it like that. And then you're going to want to take some of your core wool, ball it, and shape it into a triangle or a cone, a little 3D cone, just like so. And then take your needle and start piercing the wool straight in and out as you get to the peak and felt it all down and into itself and just felt from every angle. And as you're doing this, continue to turn it and pierce it. When you squeeze it like so, you get an idea of how small it's going to become once you get it all felted firm. Take your tape measure. This one I'm gonna be working on is gonna be just around four inches in size. Gonna be in height and around two to three in width at the base. If you need to add any more wool to smooth it out, fill any holes, don't be afraid to do so. <laughs> and then it's really important to felt this really firm because you're not going to want any of these fibers coming through to your black. And then just continue this just like so. Make sure you have a lot of patience with this process because this is going to be the most time consuming part. And now as your wool is starting to take some shape, if you're wanting to make your cone have a little character, your witch's hat have more of a arch in the front and a shorter in the back, a little bit of a hang, go ahead and start felting that into it. Be really careful, you're always felting away from yourself so you don't accidentally pierce yourself.
All right, now that your witch's hat is almost felted completely, if you need to change surfaces, now is the time to do so. A little spot of black here. I'm hoping this yellow doesn't go into it. So I'm gonna be working mostly in this corner. Don't need any more of that for now. And now it's time to take your black wool and you're gonna want to create a thin layer completely around it and felt this on. I'm gonna switch up my needles at the moment and finish out my project with this one. Again, I have all this stuff linked below for you. And now just continue felting this hat completely. I'm gonna do the bottom as well, so completely cover it. Now that you have the black mostly felted completely all over your hat, it's time to get some hot water or the, some warm water, what you're most comfortable with. You're going to shrink the wool with this water, so you're going to want to be able to dip your hands into it. Alright, so you have your water. Take a small amount of the black wool. Part of it you're going to use to attach onto the tip. You're not going to need a whole lot. So wrap a little bit of the wool around the tip, pinch it. We want this to be as like even as possible. So I'm gonna kind of roll it here. All right, now I'm gonna grab another pinch. So I want it to be a continuation. I don't want it to get thinner here and then thicker. I just have to pull wool a few times and don't be afraid to start all over there if you need. All right, I'm gonna dip. Tip of this in. I roll it between my fingers. This really does not require a lot of soap. We get a little bit of soap here. Too much. There we go. Let's go. Let's see, it's going to be attached on just like that. Give this a little bit of friction because I really do want it felted once it dries. I don't want it to just not have a felted look. Just really rolling it back and forth between my fingers. it completely so felt it again here all right then once you have the tip done you can set that aside save it for shaving now it's time to work on the brim of the hat I'm gonna wet felt this too we're gonna do wider shorter pieces I'm just gonna attach them along the edge like that Twisting each tip here to felt it into one giant piece. It's a little bit of soap here. As you're wet felting this, just between your fingers like so, keep in mind that you're just going to be attaching this off of the edge. And when it sits kind of on presentation, it has a bit of a tattered edge look. Move between the fingers into a ball. Okay, 
great that looks. And then you're just going to continue this process until you have enough to go completely around your witch's hat. It should probably take you like four or five of these. Just a shorter amount of wool, pull some out. All right. I'm trying to keep them off my phone piece because I don't like making it too wet. So I want these shorter pieces in the front, even smaller and less wool. The soap isn't necessarily needed for felting, but I can guarantee it's going to make it definitely easier. Something about that slickness and meshing ability that it just adds to the fiber. You're going to have a whole lot longer time trying to felt it without soap. You can be done with the water for now. Try your hands off. Try my surface here a little bit. Clean up some of the fibers. And now it is time to attach all these pieces. Spread the wool out. Place it around the tip and then felt it on. careful when you're doing this you can see the white fiber pulling through pull the excess away and you can always add on a layer of the black and cover it up a little bit if you need really gently there can start attaching your pieces all around the edge. Just put them right on. Don't worry about how this looks. We're going to put a red band around it that will smooth that out some. And then you can always add a hint of the black wool if you need, just like so. felt it along the bottom. I'm gonna go and add some wool to secure this in place all around. You can put it back out and felt from the top side again. All right, so we still have a long ways to go with this felting, but we're getting there. Now, if you have a color that you're planning to use around your witch's hat, now is a great time to add that. I like to use wool roving for this because the fibers are already going in the right direction for it. Look how great that color is going to look. Attach it on and continue it full circle and for a decent amount of thickness around because you're going to want it to show up. I'll just continue going around, felting this area nice and secure, felting your hat down, really smoothing your project out, and then we'll finish adding on to this ribbon around the hat.
now that you've finished felting your witch's hat almost completely, it's time to add on the little felted mushrooms. This is not going to take very much wool. Just a tiny, tiny amount. Roll it between your fingers, shorten it, back and forth. Pick the side you want to put your little mushrooms on and felt that little stem right on in. Now you can make the cap. Again, this is not going to take very much wool. Grab some more wool for the next one. And then some for the cap too. than the one next to it. And then the bright blue for the specks. Just roll that into little dots. Pierce them right on. Just like so. And then you can just add as many as you want. I'm going to do a third here. And then you can take a little bit of gold if you have some and want to add a buckle. And then if you need to trim off any excess, just go ahead and use your scissors there. Fill the ends down in. And then just continue to tuck it. Just felt a little square there. Smooth the rest of the fibers out around it. And then just continue going around it looking for any fibers that need tucked in still, smoothing any of the lines out. Just felt it really, really nice. And then as you're doing this, trim away any of the excess fibers that may be that you can't get tucked in and completely go around your project to smooth it out. Doing this in good lighting or over trash is best. And then once you finish trimming your hat, you are finished felting your hat. Let me show you this one here a little closer. Alright, that's it. That's everything you need to know to make a needle felted witch's hat and be a fiber artist too. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Learned something new. If you did, please be sure and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, share my videos, and as always, if there's something you'd like to see me felt next, drop it down in the comments below. I might just make it. I'll see you in the next one. Happy felting! Bye! These are pretty long. I need to get treats. Look beautiful. Love you, my angel. Thank you.